from the Guardian, the secret government agency planting cyanide bombs across the U.S. Now, this sounds like a really overhyped headline. This sounds extremely sensational, but it is actually entirely accurate. Wildlife Services kills thousands of animals at ranchers' and farmers' behests, but it operates with little oversight and critics describe it as out of control. Of course, the story starts with a tragedy. The call came over Tony Manu's police radio one March day in 2017. Some sort of pipe had exploded in the hills outside of Pocatello, Idaho, and the son of a well-known local doctor was hurt or worse. Manu, a longtime detective with the county sheriff's office, was shocked. A pipe bomb in Pocatello? We were like, holy shite. I can't, I, I can't even quote the guard. I'm censored on YouTube more than the Guardian censors itself. He hit the gas and screeched up winding mountain roads outside of town. I thought maybe the victim was missing a leg or something. That's what it sounded like. At the home of Dr. Mansfield and his family, he found a frightening scene. On the driveway just outside the sprawling timbered house, the family's dog, Casey, was dead. Inside the home, Canyon Mansfield, 14 years old, the youngest of three children, was sobbing. His head was pounding and his eyes were burning. He needed to go to the emergency room. Manu soon pieced together the story while playing in the woods behind the family home. Canyon and his dog had stumbled upon a strange device that sprayed them in the face with a dose of sodium cyanide. The boy managed to quickly clean the poison out of his eyes, but the dog collapsed and started convulsing. As Casey lay dying on the hillside, Dr. Mansfield had wanted to give Casey CPR, but Canyon told him that if he did, he'd ingest the deadly stuff himself. Though it didn't take him long to figure this out, it wasn't a rogue actor or a terrorist cell. No, it had been installed by a federal employee on official business. As Canyon's mother, Teresa, said, the United States government put a cyanide bomb 350 feet from my house and killed my dog and poisoned my child. Three years later, there's still an illegal battle to ban the use of cyanide bombs and to get justice. Now, if you haven't heard of this, you're not alone. Wildlife Services has operated for years in relative obscurity with limited oversight from Congress or the public. Part of the Department of Agriculture, the agency works on behalf of private ranchers and farmers, killing coyotes, wolves, bears, birds, and other creatures that cause problems for agricultural interests. In 2018, the, they, it exterminated nearly a million and a half native animals and a huge number of invasive animals as well. Now, first of all, you go, wait a second, I thought, I thought this was a capitalist country, but we have socialized animal control on top of socialized retirement, security, welfare, defense, military, and how... How socialist are we, America? Let me count the ways. Nope, sorry, not going to. Have you seen how many federal laws there are? The paper stacks are just insane. No, of course not. Can you count out the ways in which America is socialist? So now, so we have an agency that sometimes its agents, its agents shoot wolves or coyotes from helicopters. I mean, if you like murdering animals, sounds like a fun job, you know. If you want to relive the glory days of being a door gunner at Vietnam, fly. how in the hell is this the most efficient way to do what they're actually doing here? Or trying? And, of course, why is it possible that they're killing people? Why are they using cyanide bombs instead of oh, sometimes leg traps and snares? M44s, also known as cyanide bombs, are baited and spring-loaded tubes that spray an orange plume of cyanide powder when triggered, aimed at coyotes and other canids that 
predate livestock, they killed 6,500 animals in 2018 alone. If they're, if they're counting accurately, that is. Now, Congressman DeFazio from Oregon, a longtime critic of the agency, said, quote, I served on the Homeland Security Committee for a decade and wildlife services, so-called, is more opaque than some of our intelligence agencies. Basically, in some cases, it's rogue. They've been around for a century, a century, have 2,000 employees totally decentralized, State offices like the one in Idaho basically run themselves with little transparency or accountability. Even local law enforcement agents are sometimes unaware of the extent of the agency's activities in their jurisdiction. Now, this is why we need to end qualified immunity. Do you think the government agent who planted that cyanide bomb is going to be held accountable? For killing a dog and poisoning a child? No, of course not. He absolutely or she should be. Now you're saying, but Adam, if that was the case, no one would work for government. Yeah. And as Jim pointed out earlier today, if you're a cop in America and someone is saying, hey, we should end qualified immunity so that if you murder someone on the job or hurt someone or steal something, you should be held accountable. And you oppose that? What you are saying is, I'm only a cop so that I can get away with criminal acts. This is not a product of the market. This is a product of government. And it's really simple. Stop socializing animal control. If it was a product of the market and someone did this, the company doing it would get shut down, not last for 100 years. M44s continue to be used in roughly a dozen states across the nation. And the Trump administration is opposing reform. In December 2019, the EPA reauthorized the use of cyanide bombs nationwide. Canyon's law after the boy who was poisoned is, surprise, surprise, currently stalled in Congress. But in an era of rising environmental consciousness, many advocates feel that public sentiment is shifting away from the sort of lethal predator control practices that wildlife services embodies. And public sentiment is the key to reforming such an agency. As Faye said, the Mansfield case was the game changer, the tipping point. Canyon Mansfield still sometimes feels sad and guilty over the loss of Casey. He gets the occasional crippling migraine, as well as a strange numbness in his hands that he never experienced before his exposure to sodium cyanide. But as he prepares to head to college next year, he's certain his family will prevail. As he said, we're going to find a way to keep wildlife services up at night until we get this done. <clears throat> well, for me, getting this done would be complete accountability and of qualified immunity for all government agents and all jobs and the ability of the American people to hold individuals accountable regardless of their government employment status. Are we going to get there? Probably not under this federal government. It is going to take Localization. It is going to take a breakup of the United States. It is going to take more significant change than reform to end this phenomena of qualified immunity. Because really, that's the whole point of government as we know it, isn't it? The rich get richer, the poor get poorer, and the people who commit the crimes that make that possible through government are not held accountable. Thank <laughs> you.